Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue my challenge to complete Ark Survival Evolved and all of its core DLC. And today we're going to be venturing into the blue zone. I need to find myself an Anki for sure because we can't continue to gather metal via the pick. And I also want to hunt around for a decent Baryonyx. Now I'm going to need a Barry to go in the Artifact of the Shadow Cave. I think it's the the shadow artifact but it's the water cave and yeah i don't really fancy doing that on one of the ravengers so hopefully we can find a half decent anki now if you've been following along we previously put down the gas pod so i can now finally craft up a radiation suit so i'm going to get one of those on the go now not too many of the areas in the blue zone are radioactive but I would rather have one in my inventory just in case. And it looks like I'm just short on some crystal. I thought I had enough just to craft this up at the start here. I'll just have to go and grab some more crystal. Okay, just have to hunt for some more crystal. Let's just get the rest of this radiation suit put together. So the plan today is we're going to be hunting around for a good baryonyx. And there are plenty of them down around the water area in the blue zone. So we'll see what we can find. Now I think really the berry is probably the best creature to tackle the water cave with. Okay. So I've got myself some kibble, just some regular kibble. That's all we need. In fact that's what we'll need for the Anki and the Baryonyx. And we could possibly look out for a frog as well. That would be a good way to get some cementing paste. But saying that, there is snails available on this map as well. So let's take Delver in Mark II out. And I feel pretty safe on my Spino heading down into the blue zone. The Spinos are pretty good on this map. Now, of course, with the update that's just come out, the rock drakes are now breedable. And I do want to get myself a rock drake. It's pretty much a game changer on this map when you do get the rock drake. It's sort of like getting your first flyer on any of the other maps. And of course, now that they're breedable, you can get an imprint on them. I don't think they're really an option to take on Rockwell with. I might ride a rock drake in the actual boss arena itself, but really I want a megalosaurus or stegos is my best option. Oh, so I've got a rock drake there. Really cool colours. Yeah, I really can't wait to get hold of a rock drake. And we've got a megalosaurus there. Just check their levels before we kill them. And I really do miss the awesome Spyglass. Of course, if anyone's been following along with the complete series stuff, I do get a few questions about what is the Spyglass I'm using, but that's the awesome Spyglass, and it just... It really does make things easier to see. I don't think the vanilla Spyglass is very good. So... Okay, so we've got an Anki down here. What level are you? Ah, level 20, that's no good. Let's get rid of this snake. It looks like we're spawning some nameless. I don't switch my light pet on to stop that. Otherwise these guys just continually keep coming. Now, I was hoping to be able to bring my otter with me into the artifact of the shadow cave. Should be on the hotkey, that. There we go, that'll stop him spawning. But I think the nameless actually spawn in that cave, so I might not be able to. And I'd rather just grab all of the artifacts I can in one go and just get that cave out of the way. Um, really when it comes to finding blueprints well the best place to find them 
is on the surface on this map, really. So just us down that way, lead us down to the river. There's another Megaloceros up there. Just a level 40. I suspect I might have to tame a cave one. The chances of finding a good high level Megalosaurus outside are probably not that great. So we'll probably look into the caves to grab one. And I think that's going to be the best way to take on Rockwell. up some weight here and I'll just keep hold of them rock drake feathers but they're easy enough to come by shift some weight on Delver in here now of course with the update as well the Anki can now auto gather which is going to be great because if we tame a Kakanos it's just going to be a really easy way to gather metal and metal is pretty abundant on this map. You can see all these blue rocks that I'm going past here. They're all metal rocks. So once you get into the blue zone, metal's not really a problem. Just check up here. What's this Anki here? Oh, a 120. Yeah, that'll do. It's perfect. Clear this area a bit and we'll grab that. And of course that with a Karkanos is just gonna really make gathering metal pretty easy. Let's just get rid of this one, otherwise it'll get involved. Before I jump off my dinosaur, I just want to make sure nothing's gonna get in the way. But yeah, metal's not really a problem on this map. But the Yankees, they just haven't spawned or I haven't spot any in the fertile zone. But yeah, this 120 will do fine. And we'll use some of that regular kibble as well. Okay. I think the coast is clear. Now, Anki's got to be pretty much the easiest tame on any map. They're so slow. Pretty easy to avoid. Just kite them. And, oh, there you go. I say they're pretty easy to avoid, but it's got me there. And it's already torpor running. Okay, didn't take much to drop that one. Of course, we could hunt around for a frog today, but the snails are not that hard. And I have got the giant bee now, so we'll probably get ourselves a snail farm on the go for cementing paste. So I'm not really after a frog, but the main thing I wanted to find today was the Anki, but obviously we need that Baryonyx. I really don't fancy tackling that cave with the Ravengers or anything else that we've got at the moment. So I think when it comes to going underwater, the Yankees are the best way. And as you can see, all of these blue rocks here, they're all metal rocks. Uh, I'll just grab some of these mushrooms just in case I walk over a poisonous one. Okay. Right, let's just head on down to the blue zone. So that was mission one out of the way. Just grab ourselves an Anki. Now, there are plenty of Baryonyx around this lake area here. And I suspect I'm going to have to kill a few things just to find a half decent level, but just clear the area. Okay. Now 
definitely gonna have to grab a Kakanos. Okay, level 70. Haven't been coming across any good ones. I've killed quite a few. A couple here. Not sure what the other level of that one was. I hope it's not a good level. I only spotted one then. Yeah, when it comes to hunting a good team, tame, rather, you've basically just got to kill everything in the area, and not just the baryonics, but I'm just killing everything I can see around here, and we'll keep going until we find something half decent. So, I don't just kill the Baryonyx, we kill everything, including the fish, really, and hopefully that just encourages higher levels to eventually spawn. But yeah, this is Ark. I love the, I love the Spino. Just trod on that Ravenger there. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just... Keep on killing everything we come across. What level are you? Yeah, 65. Just yet, yeah, not having much luck. I'm really not going to settle for anything less than a level 100. I've got a couple of them here. Level are you? I didn't see that one. Oh, just get rid of it. I'm pleased that wasn't a good level. <laughs> Okay. Well, we'll keep hunting. Okay. So, I found a level 110. Uh, a 110 male. So I'm just going to set up a taming pen. It's not a great level, but I really have killed quite a lot of them. And I guess we need to make a start somewhere. I don't like settling for anything less than a level 100, but... So far, it's the best I can find. And the trap's pretty easy. I think we only need to go one door high. I mean, when it comes to the Baryonyx, we could actually use a bowler. But I'll set a pen up here and it's just easier just to kite them around here and we can just trap them here. It also keeps them a little bit safer. put any more under there but I think should be able to wander up the side of that ramp even though it doesn't quite touch the floor just see if I can do it with the Sarko should just be able to step on it yeah that'll be fine it'll work it'll work now it's all the way over behind that big rock, so I'm going to have to drag it over here. I'll just get rid of that jellyfish before I go over there. That's another thing that's going to be in the artifact of the shadow cave. The jellyfish, which is, again, another reason why I want to bring in a decent baryonyx. That combined with the electric eels, and there will be quite a few points in there where we have to dive underwater. So I think the best creature to do that on is the berry. So there it is just there. I couldn't really build a pen any closer to it. It's just surrounded by water. Even if I was to put it just down here, I suspect that it would probably drown when I knock it out. It's just, even though it's shallow, it, it would still go underwater. Okay. Follow me. I think it's on our tail.
We'll be able to make some more powerful trank darts up as well on this map. Get some of that biotoxin. Okay, let's try from over here. It's just not having it. I actually hit it quite a few times. Don't want to knock it out in the water. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. That's got you. Oh, oh, oh. I'm stuck. Not good, not good. Come on, let me out. <laughs> okay, so our first berry. So it's a male 110. And, well. It's a start. Yeah, it's already torpor running. I didn't think it would take it long. I've already hit it with several darts trying to get it into the taming pen. Just one more. Oh, didn't even need one more. Okay, so that's one down. Hopefully we can find a female, perhaps a better female than this. And I'll just put a few kibble on it just to begin with. I don't know how many it's going to take to tame up. Maybe four or five. Just want to make sure it doesn't eat any of our kibble. And I see you over there, Rock Drake. I do love the Rock Drakes. I might have to grab one in the next episode, actually. I mean, now we've got the radiation suit. Might attempt to grab one before we head into the cave. Okay, well we'll just wait for this one to tame up. And I guess we'll keep on hunting. Okay, right. There's a 120. I've just dragged it back over here. And it's a female, fortunately. I thought it was a male at first, but I would have grabbed it anyway. It's a reasonable level. At the very least, if we can go into the cave with a full imprint on a half decent berry, but I've killed so many of them. Oh, oh dear. I just lost my armor. But yeah, I want at least a full imprint on one and I'm just not having much luck. So a 120 and a 110 is going to have to do it. And there we go. Hopefully get some half decent levels on them. Having the full imprint at the very least is definitely going to give us a half decent chance to get the artifacts. Just repair our armor. It's one of the reasons I like the ghillie actually, because you can just repair it outside. I do have that full radiation suit, but I'd rather keep that for when we go into the radiated areas. Okay, well, we'll just put some kibble down on you. There we go. Okay, we've got a couple of baryonics. Excellent. Just wait for this one to wake up. Okay, and we're back. And it's been a minute. I've been doing some breeding. And I've got ourselves our first version of the baryonics. Now, the stats that we had to work with weren't that great. But we've got our first one. And I did get a health mutation on this one. And I've just actually just pumped some levels and gone and leveled it up. But it's got a nice colour on it. And I've gone with the patron naming rights. So I'm a girl. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. Named you after the Baryonics. Now I've got a few females here. I might continue to breed and see if we can get a few more levels on them. Now that one I wasn't using what we're looking at. So the best one we had was, yeah, like I say, two and a half thousand health. Melee damage wasn't too bad, but yeah, less than 3,000 on the health to begin with. 
it wasn't it wasn't the best so I could probably do with stacking a few mutations so I'm a girl if we do end up making another one we'll just uh, we'll go with a new version but we'll see we'll see if I've got some more time to do some more breeding Anki wise the Anki turned out really good and Marky, again, we're going with the patron naming rights. So thank you very much for your support, guys, on Patreon. Really does mean a lot, and it helps immensely to keep things going. Now, I recently put out a community post to see whether you guys would like to see me do some live streams on YouTube. And it was overwhelmingly set, accepting that, uh, yeah, you'd like to see some live streams. Now, I generally just like to hang out and chat. And uh, I won't be archiving any of the videos, or if I do, I'll probably just hide them in a playlist. And uh, yeah, but if you do see me live on chat, please come in and say hello, and I can always answer some questions. And we'll be playing some random games that I do play on the side. And uh, if you do see me go live, yeah, by all means, come in and jump in. So as always, thank you very much for the support on all of the videos. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see you.